Hello, I'm Richard from Exquisite and this is the VACPRO 16 Portable Industrial Vacuum. This is great for containing small spillages and collecting materials. It's easy to move and you can operate with only one person. This is the suction head. Driving power of this one is 3.6 kilowatts. It has three blowers inside, each with 1.2 kilowatt power, and it runs on single phase 230 volt. Suction inlet diameter is 50 mm. Maximum airflow is 570 cubic meters per hour. And then maximum vacuum is 205 millibars. Here in the middle is the filter housing. And at the bottom, you have 50 liters collection capacity. This is removable. Total weight of this unit is around 60 kilograms. Height is 1,420 mm and width is 580 mm. To operate the VACPRO 16, find your accessories. Take the suction hose, which is DN50, and plug it in on the suction inlet. Make sure it's fit tightly. And then take your cable and plug it into any 220 or 230 volt power outlet. So the suction head, this has three blowers with a total of 3.6 kilowatt. We have three different speeds. If you turn on this one speed, this only turns on one blower. Two speeds turns on two blowers. And if you need the maximum power of 3.6 kilowatts, you turn on all blowers. When you're done vacuuming, the VACPRO 16 has an automatic filter cleaning system. This is the filter cleaning system, the air shock. To use it, simply find a flat surface, like for example the floor. Turn on the vacuum, even just the one speed, and then open the air shock valve. That will clean the air filter. I advise that you do not use your hands to cover this when using the air shock system because it's dangerous, you might get injured. I will turn on one blower, one speed. Then air shock is turning. I suggest to use the air shock filter cleaning when you notice that the collection capacity is almost full or you notice that the suction is not that strong anymore. Make sure you clean the filters from time to time. Anything that can fit inside the suction hose can be vacuumed by the VACPRO 16. Like any kind of dust or sand, pebbles, oil or water. Just make sure not to twist the suction hose like this so materials will not get stuck inside the hose. Let's test it now with aggregate sand at one speed. And now at maximum power.
I will test this on some gravel. And finally, we will vacuum the liquid, this dirty water, with some sand. Make sure not to forget to clean the air filter housing by using the air shock system. Just find the flat surface and put the suction hose there and turn on and use the air shock. We've cleaned the filter, now it's time to check what we have collected. Let's check the container, what we have collected. To open the container, just lift this up. Pull it back, there's wheels, so it will be light. We've filled around half of the 50 liter container. This is maybe 28 liters. Mixture of dirty water, sand, and gravel. When vacuuming liquid, Make sure not to fill up to the brim. Only fill it up to around 30 liters. But if you're vacuuming dry material, it's okay to fill it up. When you're done, you just throw this away or put it back where you need the raw materials to be. Back on the production and then you push this again and then push down. And you have again the container connected. To change the filter, we need to remove the suction head using these two clamps. This is a bit heavy, around 18 kilos. And here you have inside the filter bag. Here inside you can see this white, the filter spreader. We have to remove the four nuts in this metal tension frame so we can replace this filter. To remove this tension frame that holds the filter bag, you can use a size 13 torque wrench. Once you have loosened the nuts with size 13 torque wrench, 
Just remove them. Remove the tension frame. Unhook the filter. And slowly pull out the filter to make sure you don't spill any dirt. We recommend you at least replace this filter bag once a year but depending on your usage, you can check it inside if it's very dirty. For now, it's just a bit dirty. And here you can see inside the collection container. After changing the filter, you just put back the suction head carefully and fix it with the clamps on the side and it's good to go thank you very much Apo Cement and Sir Norman we hope this unit serves you well and we look forward to doing new demos of additional units Maybe our bigger stationary or mobile units like this one where you can vacuum on one area and return the raw material to a different production location. Thank you.